tally hoes welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're doing well i've missed you i feel like i've not vlogged in a while because there's been so much going on you guys have no idea today is a really positive video though because we are moving my stuff from my mum's house to my new flat this has been very long coming because i was meant to move in before christmas actually the ideal date was going to be October. <laughs> it's now the end of January. The builders have been absolutely atrocious, but we're not going to talk about that in this video because this is a positive one. Like I said, we're only moving my stuff today. We're not actually moving in in today because I'm waiting for my bed to arrive, which comes on Saturday. I've got my mattress though. I've got my duvet, my pillows, and I'm so, so excited. I'm not taking this bed from my mum's house. It's not really my style and I've wanted my own bed for the longest time. I've also wanted my own TV for the longest time. And like, I've just not wanted to spend the money on these things because I felt like the biggest goal was to just get my flat and then I can sort out all the other little bits and bobs and save my money for now. So all of these things are so, so exciting for me, like my own bed, I got a divan bed, it's beautiful and it's got drawers at the like end of the bed. I like divan beds, I like a solid, as you guys know, I've been a bigger girl my whole life, so I feel like having a divan bed you just know that it's secure, it's not gonna break. I'm not dealing with those spring beds that just break and they've got the wood slates and no. We need a solid hotel like divan bed that I can jump on if I really want. They're basically boxes, so you can't break them. So I've got that really high headboard, but I'm not gonna tell you too much because I'm actually filming a bedroom transformation vlog and in that vlog, which will be on Saturday, I'll also be sleeping there for the first time. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. But yeah, so today we're just moving all my stuff over and I'll also give you like a little bit of an update. You guys haven't seen my flat properly since the renovation sort of started. It's been a very stressful time and I actually feel as though people don't talk about how stressful renovating actually is and it doesn't help if you don't have builders that are really supportive and organized so i actually was talking to the people um where i got my kitchen from and they were saying that renovating a flat is more stressful than planning a wedding and i 100 percent agree if i had been told this information would I have renovated? I don't know. I feel like, although this is a really happy time, it's also a really stressful one because when things haven't been done correctly, when you're not 100% happy, it's kind of, it's not ruining the whole experience, no, but it's definitely <laughs> makes me really anxious. Like I've not slept a good night's sleep in at least a week. But the retinol is hiding that. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, look, my retinol's right here. This is my favourite one, by the way. Drunk Elephant Retinol Cream. Absolutely amazing. Only use a little... I think I've told you about this a million bloody times by now. Also, I got a little package from Too Faced. I got the Born This Way Illuminating Smoothing Concealer um, in two shades. Because I guess they didn't know which shade I was, but... I think I'm going to be buttercup. And then they also sent me, which is perfect timing because my mascara literally ran out today. Like there's only a little bit on my lashes because like I said, running out. So they sent me a better than sex chocolate mascara, which I think will be really nice because I do a lot of smoky brown uh, winged liner. So I think that with the chocolate mascara will look really, really nice. And then they also sent me, which I'm wearing right now, and it's already in my makeup bag. This is literally just the box of it. It's the Lip Injection Too Faced Power Plumping Lip Gloss in the colour Wifey for Lifey. And I'm literally obsessed with it. I've been wearing it every day since I got it. So thank you very much, Too Faced. My mum's house is absolutely a mess. So I guess, what's the time? 
It's 9.30, the movers come at 10. I'm so nervous. Like, I'm really nervous. I cried the other day. I think it's mixed emotions because like, there's a part of me that doesn't want to leave home because like, this is home. But then there's another part of me that's just like ready for my independence and just so ready for it. It's really weird, but yeah. Oh, I don't want to cry, but I'm just, yeah. It's amazing. This is a great feeling and I'm excited to one day look back at this video and just, you know, be proud of myself. This is huge. I've put blood, sweat and tears into this renovation and just really this whole year has been really nitty gritty, really intense, like with the whole mortgage application and everything. It's been a lot, but also, I arrange like home contents insurance and like all of these adult things that you don't even think about. Like I was thinking, well, I don't want to move all my stuff over to my flat and then it not be insured. Like imagine I got burgled that night, right? And then you're screwed. <laughs> so yeah, I've got that covered. I've got everything sorted. And also, I don't know if you guys are actually going to be interested in any of this type of content, to be honest with you. But I would also recommend if you do have your own property or even if you rent just to have like a mortgage or rent emergency fund bank account because that's been saving me. That's been saving me. So make sure you always top it back up if you use a bit of it and then you've always got that money. I've got three months worth of mortgage payments just in case anything ever happens to me. Like what if I can't work for a while, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna need that money. So I would definitely recommend doing something like that. Also, I've not been to the gym that much since all of this because it's been consuming my life. But anyway, we are going to wait for the movers. They're gonna follow me behind. They're gonna follow behind me <laughs> with the van. And yeah, guys. I just can't wait for like gatherings. I can't wait to be a host. I can't wait to be warm. Also, because I'm in the, I'm basically the middle floor and there's flats around me. My flat is naturally really, really warm, which is amazing because I'm gonna save so much money on my heating bills because I'm basically like, if you look at my thermostat, it says 18 degrees, just regular, like there's no heating on. My mum's house, I swear to you, it must be like in the minuses sometimes. Like right now, she's just had the heating on for a little bit, but wait, does it tell you on here? Does it tell you what the temperature is in the room you're in on your app? I don't think it does. So we've put blankets down so that the movers don't ruin my mama's floor. Then we've got basically all my stuff. It's really not that much. Got my TV, got these boxes. That's literally it. And then we've got my mirror as well, my Mac. And that's honestly it. There's not that much stuff. I need to get so much furniture. I need to get a sofa as soon as possible. And also a handyman to put the stand and the TV on my wall. And also, like I said, on Saturday, when I get my bed, hopefully me and my best friend are going to Ikea. So then we can get like the curtains and the rails and stuff. And then, yeah, I need to get a handyman in to like put it all up for me. <coughs> and also my desk. <laughs> this is the remainder of my mess in my bedroom. But I've just remembered my mum, as my housewarming gift, got me a coffee machine, a kettle and toaster, like all matching. And I'm so excited. I've not unboxed it. She's not actually technically given it to me yet. But obviously I'll be taking it to my flat today. So I'm gonna unbox it with you guys and put it in my new kitchen. I'm so excited. Like obviously coffee's like kind of a new obsession for me. Mum, yeah. am I allowed my coffee machine now? No. What do you mean no? Yeah. 
Yeah, you've taken it. <laughs> Tally hoes, it's happening. We have boxes arriving. We have the essentials here. We're making coffee. We've got some syrup. Although I don't have any spoons, so I'm having to go blindly. So I don't know how good these coffees are gonna be. But let's give you a little tour of the kitchen. How beautiful is my kitchen, mate? I've got my very own dishwasher. And I have this cool cupboard, which is probably one of my favorites, to be honest. Look at this. It's like a mustache. Love that. Slides in and out. And then in here, we have my bin drawer. And then this is my lounge. How beautiful is this? I got these lights from, I think, Wayfair, but I'll leave everything linked down below. And also these radiators, how beautiful are they? Love that. TV's gonna go here, TV's there. And then this is my kitchen from over here. And then I got these bar stools from a, a scrapyard. They were five pounds for both of them. They don't match, they don't go, they don't look good. But I just thought five pound, you can't go wrong. So when I'm able to get nicer ones, I'll get nicer ones. This is the update on my bathroom. It was cleaned yesterday. Although the floor doesn't look as shiny as it should be. So I need to re-clean that really. And then yeah, bathtub, walk-in shower, beautiful marble. And then we've got this mirror, which lights up. It has Bluetooth, it has a speaker, and also inside you can charge your shaver and your toothbrush as well. I've gone for black handles and black everything. That's the bedroom, but I'm not showing you. You've got to watch my bedroom transformation video. In here we've got, it's kind of blocked off by this, but we've got laundry cupboard and my little toilet. And then this is my soon to be this is my soon to be office it honestly smells brand spanking new in here kind of makes you feel a little bit sick like plasticky look how beautiful my bathroom looks from over here and then i've literally just made a walkway for the movers ah i love it so much and also these lights are dimmable so in the evening if you want to set the vibe, you can just dim them up, you know? And then this is my bench that the builders made, which has ample storage. And I'm going to get like a customized mattress that goes along here. And then from this window, I can see the sea. Get used to me vlogging in here, tally -hos. She did it. Blood, sweat and tears have been shed, but we are here. It feels great, it feels good. It's actually crazy because obviously the movers are moving like my Mac and everything. So when you've watched this, like my office is fully set up with my Mac out because I've edited it. It's just crazy. I am gonna go downstairs in a minute because the mover hasn't been up here in a second. But anyway, let's try this coffee with my terrible judgment. No, it's not great. I'm gonna add more of the chai thing. I don't really like this syrup. My favorite one is the caramel syrup. You can get them at TK Maxx. They're incredible. Oh, I hear someone. We're listening to Michael Jackson and we are moved in. All of my stuff is all here. My mirror and also in my office, we've got my Mac, my desk. We've got like extra bits because I got this from Ikea, but one of the steps is broken. So they're just going to replace it. My ring lights and lighting and stuff. I'm so happy. Some clothes. And also these are memory boxes, like legit stuff that I've had for years. Like there's a canvas that my best friend got me at like 
13 I think with lots of different pictures of us and like lots of writing and stuff and I'm never I don't really go through it that often so it's got a little place here in the cupboard and then I'm gonna put shoes on there I'm honestly so chuffed and obviously I've got a pink cupboard it's incredible at the moment this has got lots of paint because the flat still needs to be painted unfortunately but yeah so I'm gonna play Michael Jackson and <laughs> I can't believe it I'm gonna play Michael Jackson and start unpacking a little bit absolutely blessed yeah ain't sweet ain't funny look it's blue tints on my hundreds life been going how I want it yeah. life been lit just how I want it yeah yeah now she talking like she want me yeah hey wave so my brother got me this he's sexy and it actually really goes with the color scheme in the kitchen so i might actually put her in the kitchen but how cute is she i've got one in black which i think i've already showed you guys so obviously as i'm unpacking this stuff like a lot of this stuff i bought months ago so like i just opened up this box and i see well i saw the box and i was like what is that and then I opened it and it's actually this kettle. So I went to the Ivy with my family and they served tea in this beautiful pot. And it's from Tiger, Flying Tiger. And it was only like maybe either eight pound or 12 pounds, I think. But look how beautiful this teapot is. It's like heavy, it's really nice. And it's kind of weird because when they were serving me, I was like, oh my God, like your teapot is so nice. Where's it from? And they said, flying tiger. And it was cheap. But because it looks expensive, I literally bought this ages ago. I love it. I'm gonna have so much recycling. Again, it's just happened. I'm like, what on earth is in here? And as you open it up, I went to a charity shop and they were selling these, like all of them for like six pounds. Look how nice they are. You could have wine in here if you want or just literally whatever. I don't know where to put everything. I don't know which cupboards to put stuff in. I've just noticed my kitchen's lopsided. How many did I get? I think I got six. But I want to put most things in the dishwasher before I put them in the cupboard. So basically I'm just getting stuff out. That's what I'm doing. But I don't have dishwasher tablets or anything here. And I also don't have cleaning stuff. So I need to go for a long shop in like savers or the pound shop even. Yeah, look six pound for six from the charity shop you can get really beautiful stuff at the charity shop because if you think about it people can't be bothered to sell stuff so they'll just take it to the charity shop like the amount of brand new clothes and even stuff i've worn a couple of times that i take to the charity shop is a joke and then these little glass pots i've shown you these already i've got so many of these from the car boot sale i think i spent like a pack two pound i think it was two pound on all these glass dishes honestly i am a bargain hunter i'm surprised these haven't broken like i've had them in my garage and then i've had them moved all this way and they're fine don't break now this i got from etsy and i don't think a lot of you are going to love this but if you're jewish and you follow me then i feel like you'll appreciate this but i got this from etsy it just says shalom it's hebrew for saying like hello blessings kind of thing and it means peace harmony wholeness completeness prosperity and welfare and so i want to get this framed and put at the front door like on my console table for when you walk in because I want everyone to feel blessed in my home. I'm gonna cry. I just want everyone to feel peace and harmony 
and all of that good stuff when they walk into my home. And that's also what I want to feel, so. I need to get a frame for that. Oh yes, I found the speaker. This speaker is gonna be used ridiculous amounts in this house because it sets the mood. I think I did a haul with you guys. I think it was from PLT. But yeah, I, I honestly cannot wait to use this. Let's see how it even works, I don't even know. Oh, it's one of those you've got to charge with like the plug-in thing, it's so annoying. But I don't have a charger, so that cannot be used yet. But I'm basically not gonna keep any boxes of anything. One eternity later. So we've opened up so many things, like all of my jars and stuff. Also, someone please tell me why I have three teapots. I used to be obsessed with tea to be fair. Now I'm more of a coffee person. My excuse is that they all fit different purposes. Like this glass one, very sophisticated. This teapot has a jumper. <laughs> and then this teapot, I don't know. I don't know, why do I need three? Anyway, but I've just come across my coffee machine that my mom got me. And of course, I've not even seen it. Like I, I ordered it with her. Like I know what it looks like, but I don't, I've not seen it in person. Hopefully, if I show you my kitchen right now, I don't think you're gonna be proud of me. Like it's quite messy and there's stuff that already I wanna put in the dishwasher. But I kind of already have an idea where I want my coffee station to be. It's kind of already set up behind that wall there. My removal guy was so good. If you live in Brighton and Hove, they were called JR Removals. Definitely highly recommend. Like, he was so quick, so efficient, so careful as well, like with all of my stuff. And when he actually arrived, me and my mum were so stressed because we were like, why are you on your own? He was like, trust me, this is a one man job. So this stuff is from Wayfair. It costs like a lot of money. Why are coffee machines so expensive? I have no idea. So we've got a vintage, this is gonna be basically just a haul video. Like I need to show you my coffee table and everything. But yeah, I got this kettle. It's vintage, I'm hoping, cause it's cream. I'm hoping it's gonna look good with everything. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I've waited for this moment since I was legit so young. And the fact that I've done it on my own, can't. Oh my God, my very own kettle. Look how cute she is. Oh my God, look at her. Oh my God, you're so cute and you go perfectly in here. Even if you don't, you're welcome anyway because you're so cute. Why aren't you going on? Oh, look at her. Okay, we're gonna have to set up this corner, guys. Oh, she goes beautifully in here. Oh my God, tally hose. Right, I'm gonna show you properly when it's actually clean and tidy because I'm getting too excited and then I just show you stuff that's like really unesthetically pleasing. But in this bottom cupboard, I'm putting all stuff that you don't really use that much, like a blender, a food processor, that kind of thing. Here they are in action. So we got the coffee machine and that's everything that came with it. And then we've got the kettle and then this is gonna be my little coffee station. So it's gonna have like all of my syrups and stuff, which is a bit too many. Maybe I can actually put them in here. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out like as I live here and as I go along, like where things should go. And then on the other side of the kitchen, we've got the toaster because yeah, I don't really use a toaster that often. Hi, Tally Hose. So, I thought that we would do a little unboxing together. I found this brand looking for sofas, but their stuff is really expensive. But they've gifted me this, and we're gonna unbox it together. I'm very excited. It's a very expensive dining table. Uh, it's not even a dining table. It's a coffee table. Is my phone ringing? One sec. I'll leave this coffee table linked down below in case you're interested. It is from America. It came on a pallet 
and it's huge. <laughs> and I've also already injured my finger trying to open it. Is it already made for me? Because if it is, I'm going to be very happy. So my brother's coming around. He's not seen it for a while and I'm excited to see his reaction. there she is and then this is a whole other section because it comes in two but look it's got storage galore can put some games in there a book all of that good stuff and the legs are gold i just need to take those off so here we go we've got the table we've got the under table as well which is amazing because if you want to save space you can literally just put it under and then you've got a drawer as well go away <laughs> you've got a drawer but literally this is such beautiful quality i love it so much i need to get a dining table that's the same color as this so that it can match or like a tv unit beautiful absolutely beautiful five star from from me darling but the gold clashes with the gold lights but I think I'm just being fussy, I don't know. But yeah, put some cards in here and then hopefully I can do this with one hand. There we go. I think it's gonna look so pretty when obviously I've got all my other furniture, so I'll show you guys that. But also, this table spins, stop it. And also, the reason why I wanted to have a lid that goes up like that is because if I'm working on my sofa, it's basically a table, like a desk as well and this is actually quite a deep drawer so i'm gonna put games in there articulate monopoly cluedo what other games that's basically it i love it this is actually my first bit of furniture in the flat here she is completely unpacked and cleaned okay i know she's expensive but She's amazing quality and I'm so happy with her. I love how she's a her, but look, don't you think that looks so cute on there? I do actually have a code for you guys, which is tally seven for money off. It's basically 7% off. So if you're from the US, it's tally seven. And if you're from the UK, it's seven tally. And I'll leave the little link down below in case you want to get your hands on this. I honestly want my whole lounge to be homery stuff like you should look at their dining tables and their sofas especially if you want that luxe feel then yeah click the link in my description hello it's actually been a few days since we've caught up but i wanted to show you a few bits because i basically went on a charity shop spree today uh everything's in the dishwasher but i'm gonna take it out because it's not full yet and show you what i got I also got dishwasher tablets as well, so this will be going on today. I'm now actually fully moved in as well. So you guys will be watching my first night and my bedroom tour type of thing soon. Although it's not actually going to be fully finished in that video because there's other things that I'll always be adding to it, like a TV. I'm not going to be getting a TV for a while. But anyway, let's show you. So first I got these glasses with the black stem. I think that these were super elegant. They kind of match my hallway lights as well. I feel like they're Marilyn Monroe kind of vibe. I don't know if you get what I mean, but they're so pretty and so elegant. And I would love to host and people be drinking these. And I got eight of them for five pounds. How good is that? And then I got four of these wine glasses 
for one four of these for four pounds so one pound each love that and then i went to savers as well and i got pink bleach because i want pink toilet paper and pink hand towels and stuff in my bathrooms so i thought the pink bleach like would look really cool as well and then i grabbed some glade shake and vac i also got some floor wash and i've ordered a mop and also more hangers for my wardrobe on Amazon Prime. So hopefully they'll be coming today and I'll just be basically sorting out some more stuff with you guys, basically. And then I got this. This is a Pro Age body wash. I've used it before, but I just like the smell of Dove, but I also love the fact that using anti-aging products early because I want that beautiful, glowy, healthy, moisturized skin, you know? But I have to say, my absolute favorite thing that I've come across this week is this pink stuff. It's a disinfectant cleaner, but you can use it for everywhere. I used it on my car seats the other day to get protein shake. The protein shake stayed out the passenger seat and it came literally straight out. And then it smells amazing. It works for literally all surfaces. You can use it for everything. It's the best thing ever. So if you haven't got this, get it on it. Oh yeah, I also got this. One sec, I'm gonna wash it up. I didn't wanna put this one in the dishwasher because I didn't wanna ruin it. It's so pretty. It was a little bit expensive for a charity shop. Sometimes I feel like charity shops do overdo it. They, they really do. There's some charity shops that are really expensive and you just think, but I'm, it's a help for all situation. We wanna get, some nice stuff cheaper you guys want to make money for charity so sometimes when charity shops are really expensive you're just thinking guys calm down do you know what i mean so yeah i got this six quid you tell me if that's expensive but anyway you can put crisps snacks everything in here and i just think it's absolutely gorgeous and i love the color of it so yeah, hummus in the middle or any sauce. So I have done an absolutely splendid job of unpacking. We've literally basically got nothing. We've got nothing left, Talios. We've got nothing left, really. Put away all my clothes, all my jackets, and the TV is the biggest thing. And then we've got like cosmetics and stuff. But if I show you the bench, that is today's project. The bench has storage. At the moment, it's got all of my pictures on it. So I just basically need to do a little bit of a sort out. So I'll show you the before and after. I'm not gonna record it because then you guys can see out the window and we need to do safety first. We can't be telling everyone where we live. So, <laughs> so this is the current situation. We've got lots of things to sort out and yeah the update is we've cleared the bench and we've basically got like lounge blankets you know in the evenings when it gets all cold and cozy and stuff and you want a blanket that's going to be that little hubby then this is a spare like duvet and bed sheets because i know that my brother's coming to stay with me soon with his girlfriend from holland so that'll be in there for now. But then I'll probably put it in here, like when it's permanent. These are books, which is perfect because this is my reading corner, but I think I'll put some shelves up there or something, I'm not sure yet. And then these are all my pictures that I wanna put up. And then this picture, which you might remember from my backgrounds of my old videos at my mum's house, but I'm wanting to put that there to cover that light switch and then put the dining table along here. I just feel like it's, a dining table picture you know what I mean and it's kind of risque which I like and a bit naughty so yeah so yeah I'm just gonna close this and I'm gonna put the pillows up and then I'll show you here we go so we've got I'm literally hardly showing you anything but we've got some pillows there and over here we've got a Vogue book and a candle then we've got my curtains that need to go up here and then I've just got a few ornaments and this used to be my bedside light. You can't even see that's on right now. But yeah, oh no, because it's not on there. 
So just in the evening, I think that that's really cute, especially because my main lights are balls as well. So it just kind of brings it all together a little bit. I've actually just swapped that book to here. I think that looks much better. And then on this side, I've just put those two pots there. Look how cute this is. Starting to take shape a little bit, a tiny bit, I don't know. This is the current spare toilet situation. We've got this cute bath mat from Pretty Little Thing. And then I got this bin from Ikea. And then my little sink area. And today I picked this up because I thought it was quite cute. I got it from Savers, Marshmallow Skies. Then I got some pictures, but all, all of this stuff is basically gonna be hung. Like my towel ring, my toilet paper thing, this ornament here, I need to get some plants for that. And then all of these pictures, I basically want just this room full of different pictures and like crazy stuff. So people have got lots to look at when they come to the toilet. I'll obviously put a mirror there and stuff, but it's all basically just a work in progress. Got my little toilet brush down there from Ikea. I need to put the towel ray up. But yeah, I'm gonna get the handyman in. Look, pretty little thing gave me this. I was meant to go to one of their brunches, but I had my surgery so I couldn't. But they still sent me this, how cute is that? And then yeah, here's the pink bleach. Let's try it out, why not? Okay, well, that was an anti-climax. <laughs> That was such an anti-climax, what the hell? Okay, well, at least it was only like one pound. <laughs> so now we're in the bathroom. I've unpacked quite a few bits and bobs, like everyday bits that I use in this cupboard. And then I've got this really nice Bayless and Harding hand wash, which is cute. Little pot for my toothpaste, tongue scraper and stuff like that. And then in this drawer, I've really been enjoying doing my makeup in the bathroom. So I basically made a little makeup drawer, which is so cute. And especially because this mirror not only lights up, but it plays music. So doing your makeup here is a very fun time. And then there's nothing in that bottom drawer yet. I need to still figure that out. Well, tally hoes, I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this, then definitely keep tuned for like all my other videos coming up because they're basically somewhat similar to this, like unpacking, obviously my bedroom transformation video as well. Keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon for my next video. Bye guys.